Okay, uh, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be doing an extension of our regression that we don't have done so far. Uh, we've done OLS, that's pretty much all that we've done. We've done a number of different things. We've, with OLS, we've done some fancy formulas. Uh, we've done some post-regression stuff. Uh, we're gonna be, in this video, doing instrumental variables. Uh, shouldn't take super long because it's really just the one command that you need to know. Most of the difficulty of instrumental variables is figuring out how to use it properly rather than how to code it up, which is pretty straightforward. So uh, once again, uh, we've got the foreign package to bring in our wage one data. We've got Stargazer to look at stuff. Uh, and we have our model three that we've been working with where we regress wage on education, tenure, female, and being married, uh, which we can look at, of course, here. So uh, we've got this, uh, but let's say that we are concerned that there is that one of these variables is endogenous. Right? It is being chosen by the person itself, right? So, of course, it's not randomly assigned. Education, for example, is not randomly assigned. There are other things that are not in our model that will affect education and also wages. Uh, for example, uh, your, your parents' income is going to be related to those things, as well as a host of other things. Right? Pretty much anything that you choose is probably endogenous to some degree or another. And education is certainly something that you choose. So, uh, one way that we can handle this is with instrumental variables regression. Uh, now, of course, for this to work, we have to have some variable that predicts education and does not otherwise predict wage. Basically, the entire effect of our instrument goes through our endogenous variable. That's what needs to be the case for instrumental variables to work. So how can we do that? Uh, now, we don't really have a good instrumental variable to work with in this data set, uh, which is fine because there's not really a good instrumental variable to work with in most data sets. Uh, but let's imagine that we have one. Uh, let's use SMSA, uh, that's sort of been our guinea pig variable before. We're going to pretend that SMSA is a good instrument for education, okay? So what we're going to do uh, is we are going to open up another package. We're going to open up the AER package, okay? Uh, AER, by the way, we've been, we've, we've been using it. Uh, what AER is, is that stands for Applied econo Econometrics in R. Uh, it's the package that's associated with the uh, Florian Heiss textbook that I mentioned way back, I believe in the first or second video. Uh, and that textbook is a companion textbook to the Woldridge textbook. It's a very good resource. There's a free ebook. There's a link to it, once again, in that, in that getting started video. So we're going to load in that library. Now, and this library has a function in it called IV reg, which of course stands for IV regression. So we're going to perform an instrumental variables regression. All right, we're going to do it with IV reg. So model uh, our IV model uh, is going to be IV reg. Uh, and now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a, a regression formula here, and the first part of it is going to basically be the second stage of that regression. That's the actual regression that we are interested in. Okay. And we're interested in regressing wage on education, tenure, job tenure, gender, and marital status. Okay, but we need to get our instrument in there, and so we're going to do that with this uh, straight up and down line. That's a, a a key. That's a key to the right of your keyboard. Typically, that's above your enter key, or at least it is on my uh, keyboard and on most keyboards, I think. And then after that, we're going to put in the uh, predictors for the first. Uh, stage of the regression. So everything that goes into the first stage of the regression, which is going to include our instrument, but it's not going to include our endogenous variable. It is also going to include all the other controls that are in both the first stage and the second stage. Okay, so I can't just put in SMSA since that's our instrument, right? Uh, because it won't know which of those variables in the, in, in the second stage are the endogenous ones. It just knows that I'm using SMSA as an instrument. So I can't just include SMSA. I need to also include those other control variables, the exogenous uh, control variables that I don't have a concern about. Okay? You'll basically note that what I'm doing here is I'm taking the second stage, right? I'm copying it into the first stage, and then I'm replacing the endogenous variable with the instrument. Right, that's basically how instrumental variables works. Okay, and we're going to specify that our data is wage one. Okay, uh, we're going to run that, and then we're going to use Stargazer to go ahead and look at the results. There we go. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, so this is a there is a second stage of an instrumental variables regression in which we used SMSA as an instrument for education. I would not recommend actually using SMSA as an instrument for education. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You got to think through whether your instrument makes sense before you do it, but that is how you do it. 
Now, one thing that we haven't covered here uh, is the first stage of the regression. Notice that the first stage of the regression is not shown anywhere here. And often we want to look at it because we want to know whether that instrument that we're using is actually a good predictor of education. And now, unfortunately, the IV reg uh, function itself does not do this for you. You have to do it yourself. But it's just as simple as running that regression because that's all the instrumental variables is doing in the first stage. It's running a regression of the endogenous variable on the controls and the instruments. Okay. So all that we're going to do uh, is we're going to do the first stage, and that's going to be just a regular regression, a linear model, uh, where our dependent variable is the endogenous variable, and that is as a function of everything that's in the first stage. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and look at it with Stargazer. There we go. Uh, so that's what the first stage regression looks like. Coefficient on SMSA is significant, which is a, a good sign. You want it to be uh, highly significant. And in fact, typically you will perform an F test of the uh, coefficient on the instrument itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the linear hypothesis uh, command is, of course, also in the AER package, which we already loaded. So I'm going to do linear hypothesis uh, from our first stage regression. I want to check if the coefficient on SMSA is equal to zero. Okay. And I want to do a type test at F. I want the F test. So I'm going to do that. Uh, the F statistic that I get is 30. Typically, as a sort of rule of thumb, you want that to be above 10. So that's pretty good. Of course, that doesn't mean that our instrument actually works. It just means that it is relevant. It does predict the endogenous variable. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is a valid instrument that is otherwise unrelated to the dependent variable. All right, but that's neither here nor there. You'll learn that in your actual class itself, not in the programming videos. All right, that's it. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.